So I found this new spot here. Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well today. Guess what? We are back at Dunlop Falls. Now you might be asking, why back at Dunlop Falls so soon? Weren't you just here? And the answer is yes, I was just recently here. But the reason why I came back is, if you notice in that first video, and I'll link that to you now, is that I was primarily located in, in one spot and I was really focusing on what would be the main subject area. Now is the benefit of coming back to the same location again and again. It not only allows you to attempt to improve on what would be the main subject, but also come back and find different unique compositions. So that's why I'm here today. Now, I also want to show you parts of this area that I have not shown you before, so stay tuned for that. Now, let's talk about the very first composition. So I found this new spot here. Well, it's the same spot it's a different composition I've not really noticed before and looking at the you can see the water obviously flowing from the top left to the bottom right so it's got this nice flow and frame uh, along with the trees and the, and the light and the color I think it might provide an interesting uh, backdrop so what you'll notice with this composition that I have set up here and let me get down and this is actually a very important tip is we tend to just have our camera at you know at chest height or in that range but get down low so as you can see I can't get much lower than that it's well secure so it's, hopefully it's not going to fall into the stream but I've set up a portrait orientation shot with the falls in the upper left flowing down to the right and you notice in the upper right, we got this beautiful tree, well colored here in the fall, and it provides a nice pop. So I have set up, and I'm only using my circular polarizer to help bring out the saturation in that tree and remove the glare from the rocks. No other filters. So my goal is to get a, to find that sweet spot shutter speed. So here's a tip. There is no necessarily magical number for the shutter speed for shooting a waterfall or a stream. It all depends on the amount of flow and how much texture you're trying to pull out. Now, rule of thumb is you're probably looking at a quarter of a second, a half a second, somewhere in that range. So you'll notice I've bumped up my ISO a bit, so I'm shooting at F8. Sorry, F9. I'm shooting at F9 at the moment. And I'm going to play with the shutter speed to find that sweet spot. And the other thing I'm gonna do here, and this is very important, you'll notice in the bottom of the frame, the rocks there are fairly close. So I am going to actually focus stack this image. So first off, I'm gonna shoot for the overall ambiance of the scene uh, with a focus stack in the lower left corner, uh, then a photograph to make sure I'm getting the leaves nice and sharp. So it's probably at around a 60th of a second. And then I'm gonna focus on the different uh, shutter speeds to find that sweet spot. Now, it may or may not end up from what I'm shooting those other two images at that the water is in that sweet spot, but stay tuned to find out. And if you'd like to know more about how to do a focus stack, uh, please let me know down in the comments below and I'd be happy to look at making a video for you. Okay, so this is the first image, four tenths of a second, F9, ISO 400, and I focused on the rock in front of me. So I boosted my ISO up to 1600, F9, one tenth of a second, 
which should be fine. The, the leaves aren't really blowing down in this area at the moment. So that should give me a sharp background. Overall, I do very much enjoy this image. I love the color of the trees and the warmth of the background. And I do overall like the composition where you have the waterfall streaming from the upper left to the lower right. The one area I wish I did spend more time on is that pooling area in the lower left. I do wonder if I could have done something just a little bit better. So what you see here behind me is I have a shot framed up and the keyword here is framed. And the reason why that is important is I've decided to use two trees on either side, or actually technically a clump of three trees on one side and another tree on the bottom or plus the ground. And as you can see, it drops off a little bit into a stream. So that is framing the left, the bottom and the right in the middle. In the background is the waterfall here at Dunlop Falls. And then obviously the top, you've got some other uh, parts framing the, the photograph. So this is a very key benefit of coming back to the same location, is you can find new and interesting compositions besides the main one. That's oh, right. With this shot here, I did play with the shutter speed. Now what's important here is I did shoot at f16 to try to get it sharp all the way through front to back. Uh, unlike the previous uh, image where I was fairly close to the, uh, the lower rock. In this image, given the fact that I was a fair distance away from uh, the trees I was focusing on in the foreground, that everything should be falling uh, sharp front to back, but we will see. I debated whether I was going to share this particular image. Overall, I do like the ambiance and the color of the photograph. However, I do feel that something is off. I think perhaps it's the foliage that's in the foreground, perhaps a little too distracting. Let me know down in the comments below your, your thoughts on this particular photograph. I will say I am happy with the attempt and I will continue to try to experiment framing my subjects. Now, I'd actually intended to do another framing shot uh, However, when I got up here, I actually found something that I think is a little bit different. I have framed up this fern center line with the waterfall in the background. So this is definitely something I'm gonna focus stack just to be on the safe side. Now, it took me a, a few minutes to actually find, not necessarily the right composition, but to get my tripod in a position that got the fern in the, in the full frame without cropping it or cutting it on the corners and center line with the waterfall. And if you notice here, that terrain is actually quite uneven. So to find, there is one tripod leg, another, and then another. First few shots I uh, did of this composition of the fern shooting up at the waterfall. I forgot to have the polarizer turned. Uh, it was on, but not properly set. So that's a, a quick tip when you're switching between landscape and portraits. Make sure you readjust your uh, polarizer. In this image here, I very much like how the fern is a focal point and you have this leading line of leaves doing a bit of a zigzag to the waterfall with a nice composition. Perhaps I should have spent a little more focus on the waterfall itself, but overall I do enjoy the colors and the ambiance of this particular photograph. And it was not something I was anticipating photographing when I set up that day. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, we've gone through a few different tips and compositions and the benefits of shooting local. 
now but stay tuned because we didn't get up to the upper part of the falls there today where the stream turns into the falls but as well i'm going to give you a little glimpse of the next video in this series of dunlop uh, falls here in gatineau park is we actually have a double waterfall here so stay tuned for the next video and you can see that one there now in the meantime please like share and subscribe and if you've really enjoyed today's content please leave a comment down below i'd very much appreciate it and until next time bye for now